This is NDTV and you are watching NDTV Prime. Good evening and thanks for watching On Art. I'm Anu Subramanian. Since we launched this show in February, we have met artists that cross the creative spectrum and we've learned one thing for certain. Art is more than just paintings on a wall. This week, we reintroduce ourselves to some artists who exemplify that truth. From Tukral and Chagra's ecological games, to Vinita Dasgupta's Hollywood-inspired canvas work, to G.R. Irana's life-size sculptures, contemporary art is pushing the boundaries of art and the way we think. We hope you enjoyed tonight's episode. This is On Art. Meet Tukral and Tagra. The artist duo loves games and all things colorful, but their work is still deep and explores serious topics. Let's see the way that their exhibitions came together in both Mumbai and Delhi. What draws us to games? Could it be the thrill of victory? The agony of defeat? <laughs> Winners and losers emerge. Legends are made on the court. Throughout their decade-long career, Jitain Tukral and Sumir Tagra have explored these concepts through their artistic games. From morality exercises to sex education to choose-your-own-adventure-style studies, Tukral and Tagra have found a great deal about the way our lives work, just from the way we play. As a kid, I hate games. I used to hate games. Physicality, of physicality out of the game. Why? I have no idea why. Maybe we didn't. We were kind of nerd from day one, and we only wanted to sit in front of a computer or a drawing board or draw instead of while the other your peers play out in the mud. Meet Tukral and Tagra. Their art seems to use every color on the palette. You can't help but notice a Tukral and Tagra painting in a room. Their studio is like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. A colorful, fantastic space where you see your dreams in Technicolor. They also design games. At a recent exhibit at Dr. Bao Dajilad Museum, they invited people to play verbal kabaddi, text on a trampoline, live through Hindu mythology, or even play table tennis on Bombay. So we use different uh, uh, metaphors to changing of the rules and uh, calling people to interact with the work. So we are also interested as, as a colony how we have received many sort of uh, rules and setups uh, and bylaws and we never questioned them. So can we question larger issues by taking up something which is objective like a set of rule of games like a, and then can we uh, see from a different angle. For example, in table tennis game, the recent version at Dr. Bhavda Jalan Museum uh, was this ta table uh, which was chopped in seven pieces and turned to look like a Bombay uh, map uh, which was uh, the earlier, the original Bombay map of seven islands. We are not really looking at who's winning the game, who's, we are actually looking at the complexities they dribble and kind of strategize, they kind of build in the allies they become in while they are playing. Or they, can they kind of take this value or the approach of playing certain thing in a, in a moral or in a kind of an anti-social uh, way to kind of... Uh, and it also reflects their own personality. I think we are th that's it we are interested in. Oh, and one of the best parts about games that double as art? You are part of the product. Normally when somebody goes to the museum, and every museum people say, don't touch the art. You go to the museum, you want to touch sometime, you know, like, because people do it and they see nobody's watching it, like, they want to do it, but... Most of our works were so interactive, so where the museum is allowing them to go touch the art, you know, because, so, like, it was, like, a very human way. GR Irana offers an excellent roadmap for how to understand abstract art. When he talks about the meanings in the layers, and the way that colors blink up from underneath. 
Let's see what the acclaimed artist has been up to. Meet G.R. Irana, painter, sculptor, and all-around visual artist. Somewhere I, I heard that, you know, the donkey have a tendency to be suicide. I read somewhere. The donkey is not a, that uh, the very much innocent. It has a heart. It gets hurt. See, that's why I connected something very close to human beings. Because it, it's when, when the animal have a tendency to be get into suicide, so in that case it is so so much it's not a it is a heart and soul and it, it has a mind and it has a quality to be making the decision. We visited his painting studio in Delhi and his sculpture studio in Noida to learn about the process behind one of India's most famous living artists. For Irana, the heart of art is all in its layers. The recently you saw that you know the yellow ochre whole thing and there is blinking blue and yellow and deeper yellow and white it was required the whole color idea is i what i was looking at surface should be neutral the first surface should be neutral but that doesn't mean it is a dead the colors create the more energy so that's how i use the color drawing these connections from a donkey to humanity, or the way colors convey powerful messages, is a personal effort for Irana. But the emotional strength of these messages leads us, as viewers, to recognize and feel deeply his art. The process so much, like, engage you. Even sometime, not you, the canvas started demanding you. The work of art started commanding you, yes, you do this, you do this. That means you are conscious already put into the canvas. That's ordering you. So it is so deeper level your conversation is happening in that process. So sometimes, oh no, this is bad, it won't work. Remove the donkey, no. It changed. The end of the day, the whole painting will be different. We meet more contemporary Indian artists, but first we'll take a quick break. On Art will be right back.